What's up everyone? This is Aviation Inbox bringing you another video and today I'm going to be doing a plane finder app showcase. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the app. And so once you get in, once you download it for the first time, they'll ask you to uh, send notifications. I have not gotten a notification before. And they'll ask to use your location. And so we're just going to go through the quick tour just to give you guys a bit of an overview of what this app is like. So you got quick access toolbars. You got flight details. You can tap any plane to see a flight summary. I mean, it's sort of like flight radar, but um, it's good. We got a fly out menu. Use for fast access to features. You got AR, which is pretty cool. I, I use it a lot. Uh, you got playback. Go back in time to playback flights all the way back to 2011. That's That's what, like seven years ago. I'm not good at counting, but you can do filters. As I said, it's sort of like Flight Radar 24. You can also set alerts and bookmarks. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to be uh, testing out all those uh, features. So we've got, uh, we put in a, we bookmark our current location here. We can also bookmark some other locations and Add a location, so let's just add, um, I don't know, let's, let's uh, bookmark Washington Dulles right here. All right, I don't know, I don't know what's up with this, so you can do that. You can also, you got filters. And we can create as many as you like, which you can't really do in uh, Flight Radar because of the uh, new subscriptions they use, which I didn't use before in the old version. I'm just going to go ahead and add a filter. So let's, um, FAA, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's go and uh, type in our local airport. And uh, we're going to choose both uh, inbound and outbound. And you can add squats, aircraft types, airlines, flights, anything. But for now, I'm just going to go with airport, the airport. So we're just going to call it STR, which is their IATA code. And so you can see we've got all the flights for uh, Stuttgart. And there's a Delta flight going to Atlanta. And sometimes I don't feel like it's very accurate. Like it says here, 13 hours 47 minutes total time and I've been on this flight before it was only about nine or ten hours so there's some flaws to it but it's still like very good UI uh, feels like um, it, it can feel like it's too good to be true but it's a good app so let's get some more information on this aircraft it was rolled out on uh, August 27 2000 it was delivered on uh, What's was it, I'd say I think that's August. I'm not sure. So we got all this random information here, and you can see its days of operation. And it doesn't look like it's operating on Saturday, but today is Saturday, so it is operating. So yeah, as I said, there are a few flaws, but nevertheless, more information on this flight. You can. It's got 246 seats, uh, freight class containers. Service type is passenger. We got passenger classes. We've only got economy and business class. And uh, I'm not sure about this part, if it's got flaws or anything, but, but I'm just going to believe it for the time being. We've also got additional live data. It's uh, I'm not sure what some of this stuff means. It's at Mach 0 0.8. Its source is ADSB. And we got a whole bunch of random stuff. So if you click on some of these buttons, that just puts the th uh, thing down. You can also click this to get a route of where the plane has been. But I have, I, I think in the settings you can like make it show its selected flight plan as well. And uh, if you click this button, it just centers it on the aircraft. I think you can move along with it, but... So yeah, a few other of the features, we got the uh, quick access thing, 
where we can access filters, alerts, playback, aircraft list view, everything. We've also got aviation charts, but we have to purchase them, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, we've got uh, augmented reality, which um, I may be testing in the future in one of my future videos. But um, for the time being, we're just going to focus on other features. And so let's close that. We've also got in the settings, we can select our map provider. I'm going to choose Google, actually. Uh, I always go with hybrid when I use flight trackers. Aircraft labels on, logo. Um, speed, I'm going to put that in knots. Put altitude in feet. Distance, I'm actually going to keep that in kilometers. I'm going to select the airport codes to ICAO. And so, yeah, that's about it. You can do the settings. Uh, you can also just, if you choose a certain aircraft, like let's put, pick this one again. Um, so we got, uh, what's the registration? November 832 Mike Hotel. So we're going to put that in to the thing. Got to remember that. November 832 Mike Hotel. All right, actually this is for uh, seeing the playback of air traffic in the area. So let's see if from a few days ago. Okay, so we got all the flights from uh, Sunday. So we're just gonna speed that up. And so I particularly like that feature. I haven't really used it, but it's good. We've also got this, which is AR, but I'm I'm not gonna do that. Let's actually just test it. Okay, it looks like around here there's a KLM flight somewhere. What it what is it? Let's see. Schiphol, Amsterdam to Stuttgart. Twenty four kilometers away. That's that's cool. I didn't think you would recognize anything. But, uh, oh, I think this is it right here. But it landed. That actually looks pretty accurate. Like, let's see the flight plan it went through. Or let's just use this button. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty snappy, actually. And so if we just don't use our filter, we just see all the air traffic for the area. We've also got a few planes here, which I don't know what they are. We got a Novel Air flight from Monastir. We've also got these planes here. I'm not sure what this one is. What about this one? It's an Aegean Airlines plane. See, I pretty much got all the features. Oh, except for the... You could just search for any... Uh, Search by flight route, let's just select. Let's just put in that flight from t from the airport here to Atlanta. And so let's search. So we can see that we've got a, a flight and route, so let's select that and we got it right here. And it's got a five star or four and a half star rating on the App Store. And that um that kind of surprises me because they the the developers need to work on this app just a little bit more. But other than that, I think I would give it um a four out of five. Because it's got a really good UI, but there are still some uh flaws, such as what I described earlier. So that pretty much does it for today's showcase. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And uh, just a little note, I will be live streaming later today. And um, I'm sorry I couldn't live stream yesterday. I had too much on my plate, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.